What's up, y'all? I just got out of the theater to see um, Argyle, the uh, the first uh, 2024 movie I, I've seen in theaters. I have seen movies in theaters this year. Obviously, I've posted videos this year. I've been at theaters. Um, but those movies came out in 2023, so this is my first 2024 movie. I've, I've seen just in general, but especially at a movie theater. Um, and I really, really liked it. <laughs> it was really good. Um, going into it, just based off the trailers alone, I was expecting kind of, a um, kind of like the Lost City. It just recently came out with, a uh, Sandra Bullock and, uh, Channing Tatum, Brad Pitt. Um, kind of the premise just seems similar to me, you know author whose book is similar to something in real life that's going on um, gets mixed up with bad guys you know isn't really fit for this life but finds love along the way kind of deal um, and that had me a little worried just because The Lost City is so such a recent movie it seemed like they were just making another movie with the exact same premise um Fortunately, um, I was pleased to find out it's a completely different movie. Like, uh, like it was not what I was expecting at all. Um, the story took a lot of different twists and turns, um, along the way that I was like, oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. I wasn't expecting that. So, um, I was very pleased, um, to find that out. Um, what else? Uh, performances were really, really good. Um... It's probably... I haven't seen a lot of movies with her in it. Um, so take that as you will. Um, but this was probably the best um, Bryce Dallas Howard performance. Like, I shouldn't say it's probably the best because I don't know that. I haven't seen a lot of movies with her. I just said that. This, this feels like Bryce Dallas Howard at her best is what I meant to say. Um she was really really good in this movie and did a phenomenal job as um the lead especially with a movie with a stack cast like this you know sam rockwell uh brian cranston samuel jackson uh john cena um henry cavill you know all these guys um she held her own she did really good wow those i don't know if you saw that headlights right in my face um yeah, I'm still in the parking lot, so there's going to be cars coming and going. Um, anyways, back on track. Uh, quick distraction there. Um, there was a... What else did I love? Um, there was this action-slash-shootout sequence uh, kind of during the third act of the movie that was just what dreams are made of. <laughs> um, it's when you go to watch an action movie in theaters, it's... You know, you want to see awesome ac action se uh, sequences like that. Um, you know, and this movie was full of them. This movie is full of really great action set pieces. Um, kind of, it's kind of a known um, going into this movie. You know, you're going to this movie to see awesome action. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? Uh, kind of on the downside of things. This didn't plague the entire movie, um, luckily, but uh, the kind of the first half of the movie, there's this creative decision they made where um, the cr the camera is uh, Bryce Dallas, Dallas Howard's point of view. It's like we're we're looking through her eyes, and you know, and when she blinks, the camera goes black and goes back up. I found that, you know, it. It makes sense in the the grand scheme of things. The creative decision makes sense. I think it may, you know, um, and it's pretty. It sounds good on paper, but it, it, sometimes it would happen during some of the earlier action set pieces. And you know, like I said, it's only kind of the first half of the movie. Um, during those action set pieces, I kind of found it a little irritating, you know. And this just might be me, you know another person might watch this movie 
and not have a problem with like not even notice it not having a problem with that all me however you know i was like i i see what they're doing here but it's kind of annoying it's kind of bugging me um so take that as you will um it it bothered me might not bother you might not bother someone else watching this movie um but yeah uh other than that like i said great performances great action set uh pieces you know really great story unpredictable story um i went in thinking it was gonna be this story completely different story very pleased um there are a lot of plot twists along the way a lot of plot twists um <laughs> some sometimes it, i was like oh my god like how many more plot twists are we gonna get um so that is what it is um but none of them were bad plot like they were all thoroughly explained and like when you remember other plot twists that happened earlier in the movie or other key pieces kind of Chekhov's gun kind of thing they set this up it pays off um so all of it you know was well thought out well, well written um other than that yeah this was a great theater experience um it was a great theater movie if uh, you're looking for a good weekend activity I recommend going and checking this one out and I'm sorry the picture quality isn't that great um it is dark and my phone and it's but raw just raw reaction kind of deal yeah um like i said go check this one out form your own opinion and uh, i'll see you guys on the next one